Hi there, have you been wondering why some printed drawings just become so beautiful that somebody can just make a drawing and a twinkle of an eye, pull it and everything looks so beautiful just like as it's drawing it now you can see everything now looks so different not just using the monochrome but creating yours from the scratch in this video I'm going to show you how you can be able to make yours from the scratch your printing plotting style so that you can be able to print your drawing anyhow you want your drawing to look like and it makes it so beautiful and so presentable so let's dive into the, the video Welcome to this tutorial video. In today's tutorial video, I want to show you plotting style and pen assignment in AutoCAD. How you can create your plotting style and pen assignment in AutoCAD. So this is my drawing. If you're wondering, I have all my drawing sheets on this particular layout, which is layout one. You can just type on the comment section below, show me, and I'm going to create a video if so many persons are interested i'm going to create a video on how i've been able to assemble all my drawing on one particular layer please subscribe to our channel and give our video a thumbs up just encourage our channel to make more videos for others to learn please share our video with others so today i'm going to go show you from the scratch how to create plotting style and pen assignment so this drawing i've done some drawings i've put them into different layers in which you can request also for the video now make it up to you so i'm going to go to plotting style i'm going to continue on single continue to plot on the single sheets so i'm going to go to plotting style table and pen assignment i'm going to pull this down i'm going to go to new click on start from the scratch i'm going to go to next give your plotting style a name in this video i'm going to call it cat teacher just going to call it cat um, give a space cat teacher just for this tutorial sake i'm going to go to next i'm going to go to plot style table editor now this at this particular place now if you see some of this on your drawing that is why it's good to put them in layers now all this red i just want everything that is made in red anything that has layers on red i want it to be red but now i want the color tool that is going to be used to print i'm going to call the properties i'm going to use it to become black or particularly if you just want to make sure you don't waste your time you're going to click on this particular first red and you're going to hold your shift button you're going to hold your shift button on your keyboard i'm using a windows so i'm going to pull down to the far down i'm going to click i'm going to left click on it and you see all is alighted i'm going to come to color choose the color i'm going to click on black and each of these whenever i click on them it's going to become black so it tells me that if i'm printing this particular drawing if i'm sending it to plotter it's going to print all this is going to be printed on black so let's give uh particular setup we can also come down let me say blue i want it to become black it's also black now i'm going to move ahead maybe i want to separate the the line width uh into different uh, give it a different width a lot of that so you're going to come to line width i'm going to play, print all on maybe solid uh, just like blue blue is going to be solid red i'm going to change it to solid i'm going to change black change it to solid 
now um, some of the time uh, let me just print I'm going to print um, um, this um, cyanide I'm going to print it on uh, let me say broken line so I'm going to print it on that or oh, let me just leave it on solid and show you then later we can come change it and all of that so when you've done all of the settings I'm going to click on save and finish then I'm going to plot my drawing and show you how it looks like you can come back and rechange it and whatever you want and you can do so I'm going to go to plot I'm going to click pull down to this corner then I'm going to say apply preview now this is what we have all all the old layers in our drawing is plotted in black which is automatical monochrome now well, this is a foundation drawing i've been doing for a particular building but i don't want all the whole of it to become uh, solid without representation because this is my foundation line and this is my footing so I want to make sure I separate them to be able some has to be in broken line which is eating details all my grids has to be in on grid line which is going to be like center line all of that I'm going to go back to exit right let right click go back to exit come down to this place then all you going to come down because since this is selected cut teacher which is my plot and pen assignment i'm going to go to this plot icon here i'm going to go to edit so i'm going to change this particular color i'm going to change it to become uh, broken line uh, let me let me change this to become this then i'm going to click save i'm going to Go back to preview yeah now voila this is what we have so now you see all particular uh, colors that are on this particular cyanide so it's going to become a broken line so now this is is getting really better so you can just do it once on the go instead of doing one at a time then I'll go back exit going to go back to exit and now uh, let's look at um, making uh, I'm going to turn this off let's look at making other colors look very beautiful so I'm going to go back to this uh, particular colors which is going to be a uh, grid lines we're going to come to this place let's look for grid lines uh, grid line so this is grid line and this are grid line is color 8 so this is color 8 so I'm going to go back to this plot single plot I'm going to go back to there look for the color 8 this is 8 uh, okay let's make it to become a dot dash a dot dash line so I'm going to click hit on save I'm going to make a preview now we have this so this is now a particular um, grid line but it's looking so clumsy and I, I need to change it so to make it beautiful I'm still going to go back I'm going to go to the color 8 choose a long dash dot hit on save go over to preview it's still looking somehow so I'm still going to go back I'm going to go back make it to become the um, I like this one I choose that now I'm going to hit on save now I'm going to make sure all lines because all the thickness of the lines some will be different from the other so I'm going to go back come back to line width I'm going to choose this one to become 0 0.1 then this other one 
I'm going to choose everything to become very light. Just go over to line weight. The line weight. I'm going to select zero just to make sure everything is okay. Just go back to preview. How do you look at it? Looks really cool, right? So this is how you create a plotting style from the scratch. Now, if you have previewed it and see that it is okay, you can right click, go over to plot and you send it to your plotter then it prints for you that is how you create plot style on autocad if this video was helpful give us a thumbs up and please leave your comment on the comment section below and also give us a thumbs up see you in the next video